receive money from anywhere in the world. Western Union now available at Ceylon Bank. Chilling with Russell. ला Anit kau dasun shana kat mana inningnya kaya wa. So it was a good game. I think we'll go into the third game and probably if it doesn't rain, if it rains, I'm telling you on Tuesday. Besto tay ne. Chora inna wahai na match bola kat dan da beri ender. Anggaru ada hari itu match kaya kaya wa nang. Apa dia dinan chance ya tino. Balu muka da beri ender. Namu tu apa nama kaling? Let's bring in the man who knows it all. The guru of greatness, the mantra of madness, the man with the plan, the only one who can, Russell Arno, the granddaddy of Chile, the lover of all types of put put pudding. He does not talk pudding yachting. He gets to the point, nodding, bidding. Introducing. Russell Arno. We don't just chill; we create a buzz. Because chilling with Russell is better than getting into trouble. Somehow, chilling with you has gotten me into trouble. What trouble? What trouble? What trouble can you get into? Other than chilling and you My getting bandy and all that. I can ah uh, our wife say uh, anyway. Wife, you're reading my. Why? You're reading my um, uh, favorite uh, comics. Love, love him, them. love him. I, I I also I also like the Tintin. But uh, when you were saying the man who knows it all, no, that's not me. That's Roshan. That is you. No. Roshan is also there, but uh, you, your wife, don't come down on it. You can never. Me, but I'm calling. Oh. और एक नमक किया ना पूरा शनाल की लगी आनो को शनाल 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 तो लोगो हेलो एक आप कौन लोग आ गए सो से हेलो टू शनाल हेलो शनाल हाउ आर यू डूइंग व्हिच शनाल इज दिस देयर आर फ्यू शनाल्स दैट आई डू नो एज़ वेल आई डोंट नो ही वाज कमेंटिंग सो आई सेड ओके फाइन यू नो इट्स ऑल गुड अद अभी पूरा पराक को ना पराक को ना होने हेतु आती ना हेतु का कारण हम पास से किया ना एक दिन आधा लेने आप यहां आने राइट एक है वाटी ने रस मट पड़ी बाडू आप पहनने में रोशन एंड कालिंग हर इधर में हटा नवया गहा पुता वो पोरा मी ये पहले तो पिस्सू आपने टुआ आप ये पिस्सू बाल्ला इमु इटे पास से वेल टॉक अबाउट दिस एक विग्रह करमु ये हटना में पिस्सा आप उनका गानू वाले स्टेज स्क्रीन में कटा एंड में जहाँ वो किया ना हाँ दया <laughs> Three games now, back to back. <laughs> he has gone and done some, you know, stuff, and you know, he's interrupted the games and whatever. I don't think this last game. Kaata, tetra happy one ne ready again. Ah, oh, mama, tetra ma kya ne? Meka Lanka vary, India vary, una na minutes to me va ke prachara dakhpai the me va ke deya kata. Ne bhai me ya ok ok tin jolie ata vena deval prashna ne bhai me kalle ok ok loko prashna kwenda pulwa. उंडवा Yeah, that Marathi and it's 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 a big fall. Anyways, that is that. Not very happy about it, but you know what? I'll tell you who I'm happy about. I'm happy about this man coming to join this conversation today. Let's get him on. Who? 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 Trying to. I'm trying to. Out the cloud. Get 
Chilling with Russell. Hai buan. Amat tersiri. Roshan ayah ni. Ara api api gya me. Me api Pakistan gya ma. Api gya warga border rekata. Ek mar experience ke siam. Roshan ayah tau hitiar guard like. Man dah kah fotos dekala. Warga border rekata. Villa lohor lo. Hor vali indang peba gaya dure Indian border rekah. Hamba dah ma hawa sa hayat a ceremony katti no, match katti no. Depet te ma soldiers lah ikawi di kat a ikam a synchronise vela me match kalla flag ye ka gaya no palle hat a. Tiye ka balan te ma ye gear amma te siri rosha na ye itna gear la me mar ya alu tika kati kerga ne hat wada double ye itni no. Hena sai sape lo honda kaya ma kudu na kaya ni. Itna samane salakan ko te hari hari simple and nice no rosha na ya. Actually. That's a show of strength. Take me. They pet them slowly. Pissu minisu. You know they pet them. Okay, Ghana. It's like a motivational like. Eight years. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy about something else as well. I'm even more happier to introduce this man. If I can find him. Chilling with Russell. That man is missing. Yeah, it's Mr. Ambangwa. That man is missing. Hari, I think api 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 ya. Ina kang ina kotor siapa? Mata ikat kian nak kemati. Me Roshana ya. Mata ra naya sali tikar dengan yawan. Selan ni ke Western Union ni keng me. Apu gamam me keling me mata inawa. Selan me. Mata inawa naya. Ikat gil lah. मैं सर्विस से का टॉप क्लास फीस ने हर दे मैं एक्सक्यूजेस ने दें हर इधर एक कारणा कर ले माटे के अंदर माटे के अंदर दिए ने रिचर्ड था मैं वाह ये वाला नमाटे तो मैं कहता हूँ कि वो तो कानीपत तो वैन रासल तो कानीपत यार तो मैं ये वाला नमाटे यू कैन ओनली रिसीव कांस सो आई थिंक सेलान ने के वेस्टर्न यूनियन ने किंग दादा अंगाले अवार न बुलवां इच्छराई किया ने रोशन ना यार राइट ऑन दैट नोट अपे पोमिया आवा आवा दान ना में तो इंटर पोमिया पोमिया नहीं का पोमिया क्या नहीं कर रहे गेदरी ने बालू पेटिया वाके टोमिया टोमिया की मत दी मत बे टोमिया नहीं पोमिया ने बे पोड़ � Hello, Pommy. Uh, a lot I of hope you viewers were referring to you. Yes, we can. A lot of the viewers okay. were referring to you as Pommy. I, you know, we just singleified your name a little bit. So that's a little bit of love coming there. Meanwhile, Russell has frozen on his uh, side. They've added, a, they've added a Y and an A to your name. So Pommy. say that again. Yes. So, so, so instead of so just Pommy. Go ahead, it's, say it again so I know what it is. Yeah, they, 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 they've added an A to it. Okay. Okay, What's I see, I see, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. I got... Mm -hmm. Not much, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to figure what's wrong with Russell's picture. What right, the um, what did right. Show? <clears throat> We're having one of those days, thank Russell. Well, your production is horrible today. You seem to be it's losing not, somebody. It, it's not as so long much as my production, it's Russell, more with the internet. It's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> See, Russell opted to use the Aussie internet connections that are using the Sri Lankan internet connections. Has he done that? You know, it would have been a different story. Right. That's, um, that's probably it. That's probably That is exactly mm, but, it. But guys, until Russell comes, um, you guys want to, let's say, okay, we've got a Sri Lankan, then we've got a South African. South Africa went in the game yesterday. South Wait, African? What's the story Excuse like? me, he's not a South African. Ah, yes, he's a Zimbabwean. He's a Zimbabwean. I keep referring to you as South African for whatever reason. I don't know why. Please don't do that. No. It's not a good I thing. I know. It's a horrible yeah. thing. I need to be shot, yeah. buried, and then, you know, done something else with it. There you go. Russ is here. Please Russ, um, before going <laughs> and before, before giving other people other nationalities, okay, I think Russell went again. No, no, I'm here. He's there. Okay. Sorry, uh, man. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with my internet today. Ever since uh, yesterday, Sanat was with us for me. And he said something <laughs> nice. From that moment on, 
the internet is struggling to keep up with it even it, it couldn't come to terms <laughs> that is true uh ever Russell, since yeah. that happened um but sanat did mention something really nasty to russell about him never never scoring a sixer whenever he played and the fans reacted the fans reacted big time let's have a look at that and i'm going to move out and you guys take it forward Hello, hello. Get, get, get That is a massive hit. That what is emphatic stuff there. Holy cow, that could be the shot of the match. could break the hearts of the New Zealanders who've tried valiantly this afternoon to defend what's not a large total. <laughs> Pommy? Pommy is gone. Pommy is struggling. Pommy's internet is struggling, Russell. I think it's, he's coming but, and but, going. Uh, but you're on something different, aren't you? Today it's a strange day. Yeah, Pommy, we, a... we, we, we like to show a bit, you know, a bit of show pony stuff and all that. So you know, just 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 blend in. So initially, tell me how how are the boys looking after you? Is Roshan looking after you all right? And <laughs> and, and and before you get on to it, take the question on the screen, Mr. Pommy, Pommya. We yeah. call you Pommya. Remember, I said Kalisa. It's like that. Roshan was correct. We add a little bit of an A to you know make it personalize your name. Just pronounce your name, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's Pomelelo. We can we can keep it at that, Pommya. As I said to guys, I say to guys all the time, it's not my name. It's just what people <laughs> call me. Pumalelo. <laughs> Pumalelo, yeah, that's the one. Pumalelo. So that M, M, M is something we ignore, yeah? I say again? The M is something we ignore. We just go with your P. Pumalelo. Pumalelo, yeah. You, I mean, you can use Bangwa. You know, like back in school, uh, where you'd be called Arnold by everybody at school rather than Russell. Uh, that's kind of how it goes. So you can no, call but me people, if you want, or you can call him Bangwa, and that's fine. No, but people call me Arnold. It was more to do with uh, with my structure and you know that 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 type of thing. It was not more to do with my surname. You, you know what was used. Honor Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> we might change the show. Chilling with Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so this uh, so this joke in Sri Lanka. This guy went to the gym and he asked uh, the instructor, "Can you give me Arnold's schedule?" <laughs> so that fellow gave him a particular schedule, and um, after a few months, he came back and said, he, "He's become scraggy and you know puny and all that." And said, uh, "I asked you for Arnold's schedule, and I followed it." Uh, really well but look what's happened to me yeah so and what have you done to me what who schedule did you give me and the guy says i gave you russell arnold schedule did you ask for arnold schedule <laughs> so they, uh, everyone around here keep, keep um, rubbing that into me now so i thought i'll ask uh, roshan and you in together because i just want to know if roshan's taking good care of you today this time around as i'm not there care uh, in what sense we, we are in quarantine right Okay, we cannot we cannot get out anywhere. So how do we care? I mean, we just in this hotel, Russell. Already an yeah, excuse. He didn't even allow you to answer. He's already given an excuse. It's no excuse. Pommy knows. The only care we take <laughs> of each other is when we travel in the vehicle, in the commentary box, and when we are coming back. After that, there is no care. You happy with that, Pommy? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Look. Um, <laughs> I need to get myself nice and. Smart as I say this, um, Roshan and Farviz have been fantastic hosts. They oh. always are, actually. There you go. 
That's yeah. surely true. can't okay. surely can't be better than me. Come on, I'm looking for fishing. I'm fishing here. <laughs> 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 no, I look, I'll tell and this is not in comparison to you, Russ. I'm not going to make I still think it'd be even better if you were here too. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not so happy with your absconding, my friend. It's not very Absc nice. I thought I was coming here and I was coming to visit. You. Never mind though, we can take that one offline. <laughs> yes, yes, but I'll tell you it's not it wasn't it's not my choice. Um, yeah, Mpamelo, before we get into a little bit of cricket, which we'd like to talk about, Roshan, I also can chip in. There are lots of Sri Lankans who keep messaging in and asking about commentary and how you should go about it. Um, and you are pretty, pretty, pretty famous um, in, in Sri Lanka. People like your style of commentary, I must say that. So, um, why, why don't you just... Give them a few tips, things you believe in. Now, there are certain, we, we also have our certain structures and certain things we want to do, as well as certain things we have to do. Now, I'm trying to, I'm trying to copy you here, you know. So, can you say something to our listeners, uh, some good advice? I, I, I didn't quite get all that. I'll tell you what I did get. Um, and... You said something about you not liking my commentary. I know that you've told me to my no, face. No, no, you know? no, no, no. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to tell the world, but that's fine. I get that, you know. And, and you trying to influence everybody else not to like it as well. Wow. Hey, hey, nah, it, yeah, but 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 it, it, it's it, look 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 what's coming. Ah, oh, for for me is my for, he 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 spelled your name wrong. Pomia. Pomia is one of my favorites, so you know, <laughs> and and we do get a lot, don't we, Roshana? People do keep asking us. So it'll be nice to know what your thought process is, what you do, and um, you know your your beliefs, your do's, your don'ts, and of course there are certain don'ts, do's and don'ts that we have to stick to. So yeah. okay. I, I think yeah. I think our, our guys will be really liking to know what you'd like to say, Pomelelo. Okay, Mr. Arnold. Um, uh, in, ter in terms of commentary, I'll tell you what I, I think, generally. I think it's, a, it's a, a fantastic job, and we're quite fortunate to, to be able to do it as a job. Um, because at heart, I am um, that I played cricket as well is obviously quite helpful. Um, I love the game. And so when things unfold, never mind which team it is that it's happening for or happening to, I kind of am along for that ride. And my hope is that I can portray that and help with the, the ride, the enjoyment of the action um, <laughs> with regard to the spectators or audience who are out there watching on their televisions or wherever they may be, you know, um, these days we watch on a on a on a um, device of some sort as well, right? So, so yeah, it, essentially, I'm just trying to share the enjoyment I am having with the the viewers and fans out there, along with trying to stay within the confines of the conventions with regard to broadcasting and kind of um, ensuring that the correct information is given to, to everybody out there. Yeah. Uh, Roshanaya, you want to add yeah. anything? Well, no, I think I think what he said was right. Most important thing is to enjoy what enjoy yourself. Because I, I got this uh, little slogan in my office, which says, uh, do a job. Uh, or, or, or do something that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. So as long as you enjoy what you do, you know, and and and, and as you correctly said, uh, you know, remain within the confines of what you do. That's exactly. And um, yeah, I mean, we are very blessed uh, to be doing what we like to do. And uh, it's an amazing thing that you get paid for doing what you like to do. So it, it, it's do you get paid? I don't, do you get paid? <laughs> You know, I do. No, no. Oh, I don't. I don't. I, don't I, 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 I have no qualms about it. Uh, you guys don't want to say it, so I'm sorry. 
<laughs> you, you get paid. You're hiding, <laughs> you're, you're hiding, you're, you're hiding the truth. <laughs> the love of the wow. game, Pommy. What's happened to the love of the game? Oh, oh my God. God. Okay. Oh, I'm going to I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to record to this. I'm going to record <laughs> this and send it to the people who matter so that, you know, <laughs> so, so they'll, they'll take a note of this. <laughs> oh, my God. This, who, who put this comment? Come on. <laughs> Hey, hey Ben, don't! You can't do that. <laughs> this is Russell. Vendor to official. Uh, official Vendor. <laughs> Not Michael Vendor. Not Michael Vendor. So, guys, for for whoever who's listening, if you've heard what Pommy said, it's it's a simple thing. Just keep it simple. Enjoy it and talk about what's on in the game. And um, obviously, Pommy, one thing a lot of people talk about being biased in commentary but i i feel there has to be a certain amount of bias if we are 50 50 our hearts are not in it i believe at around 60 40 uh, is um, acceptable and that's why we are there and when your heart is in it when you know there's a bit more passion which brings out a lot more uh, would you would you uh, agree with that or do you have a point different point of view saying that we have to be down the line in being uh, neutral yeah, so, so, I mean, with regard to bias, I do not believe that there is any one in any subject um, on any issue who is totally unbiased. Um, I think it's, it's impossible to be that. And the reason I think so is because you just have an affiliation and an affinity, don't you? Um, and also, you tend to know more about one than about the other. And, and so because that's the case, um, you will tend to speak about that which you know intricately more than that which you know on the surface. And many times that ends up being biased um, and it ends up feeding in the bias. I work quite hard to ensure that I try to get to know as much about whichever side I supposedly know less about um, in working on a particular series so that I can kind of dig into whatever it is about them in the game and try and put reason to the stuff that's happening in equal measure to the side I kind of know quite well. And in doing that, it, it kind of helps me to sort of get towards a balance. But at the end of it, no matter what I, I try and do, um, when I look back at it, I, I many times go, oh, you, you know, I could have said more about this team rather than just rabbiting mm -hmm. on about these other guys that I know well and have spoken about so much. So I, I try, it's an effort, it's a conscious effort to try and stay <laughs> somewhere in the middle, even though um, you tend to be perhaps a little bit more passionate with the team that you're closer to closer to and and also another point has come up there roshanaya uh, meaning uh, sometimes a listener wants to hear a certain thing and just because i don't say it or you don't say it it doesn't mean that you're biased maybe the years also biased is that a fair point roshanaya yeah i think so i mean see it, it, it's it's a tough call Sometimes, as a you know, when when you're a Sri Lankan, for example, let's take our, our case. There is the tendency, there is that passion, you know, and especially at critical times, you tend to, you know, the emotions come out. For example, if 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 your team is winning or if you're losing, that's quite natural, you know, and then you you cannot hide that. And uh, when that happens, that you get mixed reactions. There are people who would appreciate it on the at the same time. There are people may think that you ought to be neutral, but I yeah. really don't think there's anybody uh, that is not uh, that is neutral, honestly. Because see, we, we if you listen to commentary around the world, you listen to the Indian games, you listen to the English game, you listen to the Australian game, even the New Zealand games. I mean, come on, Pakistan games. We have worked with all those guys, so. There is this, whilst they don't make it obvious in most cases, there is it. There is, it's quite prevalent. So I think being biased, as Russell said, 60 40 is acceptable. It has to be. I mean, as a Sri Lankan, why are we sometimes, uh, you know, slotted into commentary at a time when Sri Lanka is winning or your own country is winning? That's because of 
because of the enthusiasm you will have and and the emotion you will have and and you know get the emotion uh, into the picture so that's that's quite natural well let's go back to let's now start on the cricket what we've seen because we're all getting excited uh, with the world t20 around the corner <laughs> it's almost there isn't it for me i'll come to you first you saw sri lanka early in the year when they were in south africa you would have had a certain um thought process in seeing them play and you would have had a, a little bit of a opinion on them i know it was test cricket and now it's white ball cricket but seeing sri lanka now to seeing them in south africa uh how would you compare um, the two mobs that you're seeing <laughs> Yeah, so so what is noticeable for me, as as I've seen uh, Sri Lanka here, <coughs> and I've watched as you know South Africa with West Indies um, play against India, England. I think there was yeah. So I've I've seen those games and I've seen kind of this this um, change in 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 the team, and the change is one where uh, it's a, a very youthful team that we now have. For, for the Sri Lankan side, I I don't fully agree with what's happened. By that I mean wholesale changes are fair enough if you are able to still retain a semblance of experience within a side. Um, if you just put a bunch of youngsters together, I think it's asking too much of them, and it's probably unfair on them because when they make what you might call petulant and kind of uninformed decisions on the field, um, you come down hard on them when they're off the field and you're talking about these things that have gone on in these high pressure environments. Um, and yet they do not have, um, they do not have any points of reference. So they're going to kind of go blindly. If you have within your squad players that are senior that can help uh, with regard to steering the side in the right direction, I think those should be retained and should be out there on the field to at least be somebody that these young guys can lean on. So minimum of one batter who's seen it all, minimum of one bowler who's going to occur on the field that will serve the team and those youngsters a whole lot in trying to be better and champion teams in the future. There is nowhere else that you learn the game except on the field in the middle of the battle. And and so at that time when you're batting, and you'll know this, Russ, you know it for sure. I know that you do. In, in you turning up in a side that had all those senior guys, when you're batting with them and doing all those things you do right, and then you come up against a difficult challenge, you had a reference point at the other end. You could go to the guy and say, um, and whether it was Aravinda, whether if we, you know, whoever it was, uh, uh, um, Roshan Mahanama, whether it was um, whoever, like you go further back, as far back as you want. And you play with those guys, you, you, you speak to them, they can give you some advice because they've been around the block. And when they leave, you remember those times that you were out there and this sort of thing happened. That partnership between Avishka Fernando and um, Charita Asalanka, what a wonderful partnership. And these guys displayed um, heads on their shoulders kind of more than their years because there was this pacing that was kind of slow down. We can, we're okay, we'll be okay at the back end. Now let's go, no panic, nothing like that. And Asalanka's followed it up. He's played another innings. Yeah. Fight fire with fire. Then I can wait. Then I'll go again. You know, and these guys are working these things out on their own. Let's imagine the guy who's sitting in this, uh, on the side. And I don't know if he's the correct guy or not. I'm giving an opinion because he's in the squad. Dinesh Chandimal, let's imagine he plays in both those games. And he's involved in a partnership or two. And there can be discussion. How much further will a guy have gone in two games with a couple of nuggets of information given because he asked a question or because he was told when he was on the field? So, yeah, I, I like where the side is going, 
but I'd like that they would infuse some real experience into the side and ensure that there's some good steering of the side as they go along. Roshan, I? Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's an opinion, I think, that uh, merits, uh, you know, a lot of consideration and there's a lot of logic in what he says, particularly when you look at uh, a real-life scenario, Russell, because uh, uh, you see some of these youngsters have been struggling. They've been struggling. But in fairness, if you just focus, like, considering or, or, or discounting that background, if you look at this series, I think uh, these guys... Uh, appear to be turning the corner. They appear to be turning the corner. The way they battered in the first innings, they appear to be turning the corner. But uh, obviously, there are uh, deficiencies that need to be worked on. For example, yesterday, it was pretty clear that, uh, you know, chasing a target seems to be an issue. They started building under pressure as soon as they were put under pressure. And, and also, I, 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 you know, one thing pretty, pretty uh, distinct that I did see you know, in, 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 in the two teams approach has been one particular shot that South Africa is using brilliantly and Sri Lanka is hardly using. And that is the sweep. You know, if you look at the sweep shot that has been used by the South African batsmen, reverse or, or the conventional sweep, they are sweeping all the time. And what does that do to a spin bowler? He needs to keep changing angles when you're being swept that way. And then, you know, the options... As a, as, a, as a batsman, you know, to open up uh, scoring areas with the sweep shot. But the issue, Russell, I feel is the South Africans seem to know how to dominate our spinners with this sweep shot. But the Sri Lankan batsmen haven't really taken that route. But that, to me, is turning out to be and maybe even a pretty distinct, uh, you know, uh, factor in the final yeah. analysis of the game. Yeah, that's that's a very uh, fair point that you make, Roshanai. The sweep shot, which uh, is a shot that we really haven't seen many Sri Lankan batsmen play in the last few years. Actually, at yes. least at least right now with Charita Salanka mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think Dananjay D. He's the only guy. also also used it, uh, yeah. which which makes it harder. Now South Africa are using the reverse sweep as well, which makes it a lot harder to set the field. So you got to set the field. Um, square of the wicket, which opens up the free hits down the ground or towards mid-wicket. Um, I, I, and if I go back to our days, of course, we didn't have that reverse sweep to defend as much. Uh, but um, even a, a, a bowler of the quality of Murali, when um, uh, people do play the sweep, he's more uncomfortable than them trying to hit him down the ground. So that, that is uh, an extreme uh, fact there. Uh, but um, the main main thing is Sri Lanka did get a few wins. I, I thought that first uh, ODI was good. But then again, yesterday they fell off. Even conceding uh, 286 to South Africa or 47 overs uh, with a spin-heavy attack. Mm -hmm. um, you, you just wonder, you know, I mean, I mean uh, as Pommy said, there's a lot of inexperience and we shouldn't come down hard on them, which is what everyone will do if we don't get a couple of results our way. But the key is to be patient. And also the, uh, the message is that it's not only this World T20, it's about having a good team in a year or two down the line. Mm -hmm. So patience is key. But yet again, we do, do have to see where, where we can do better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah uh, so, so, so yesterday, even conceding 286, um, you know, uh, could you have done better? You two at the ground. What could Sri Lanka have done differently? Who, who, who do you think should go first? So, oh, what have South Africa done differently? Or what, no, what could, could, Sri, what could Sri, Sri, Sri We'll come to South Africa, but right now, what could Sri Lanka have done differently? Did you see anything, or was South Africa that good? Oh yeah, I didn't get that, but I'll tell. I'll I'll I'll, I'll sort of go in the direction that, that I think you, you you're headed. And with regard to South Africa, um, you know, I it was a bit. Odd, the fact that they decided to to rest someone like a Quinton de Kock and to rest three players coming into this. And I'm speaking particularly in the batting department because it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, however, um, what it's done is it's given another couple of guys uh, an, an opportunity to come and try and play. It's, it's also a bold move because these are tough conditions which South Africa have not really done well in. You know, when they turn up in the subcontinent, it's tough. They know it's going to be trial by spin. Um, and 
they're not the greatest when it comes to spin. They sort of um, fold under pressure, particularly in chasing down scores. In game one, I thought that they, they did pretty well. There were little things where when you play a Sri Lankan side, even an inexperienced one, if you allow them to bowl at new batsmen at critical times, then they're going to take the game back and they're going to take it away from you. It's just a trait of uh, subcontinental sides, but I think particularly um, Sri Lankan sides. Um, in, in terms of guys improving and working out how to play spin better and maneuver the ball and work with the sweep and the reverse sweep, I think they've figured out that they've got to do something. And these younger players, because South Africa is also in a rebuild phase, and I hate to use the, the expression, but they're in a rebuild phase and they've got these players who are unestablished at the international level. And so because they are, they're more likely to take in advice and take in different plans because they don't have plans that have been successful in the conditions or have kind of nearly been successful in the conditions. So they'll, and should they execute as they have done in game one and game two, some batters have had a, a decent time and have managed to maneuver the ball around. They also played quite well in Pakistan and in the West Indies when the ball turned. So it's not new to them. And for them, I think this is wonderful to be in Sri Lanka because, yes, we'll move to the 2020 version of the game, but when they play the 2020s in the UAE and the ball will probably be kind of a batting team to execute what plans they might want to in an effort to be successful. Russell, to be honest, we talk about spin-friendly spin surfaces in Sri Lanka, but I really didn't see any spin-friendliness on these two surfaces, to be honest. So there was actually nothing. You know, I, I thought they were good surfaces. And, uh, and it was compounded. The Sri Lankan task was compounded by the fact that the South Africans uh, played them well. I mean, the way... Uh, Markram played in the first innings, running down the pitch, going over the top, and then Milan sweeping yesterday, and 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 all these. I mean, uh, Van der Dusen sweeping. I, I mean, the South Africans just compounded it for Sri Lanka. But there were two two things that stood out for me. You see, we all know that the death overs when it comes to Sri Lanka, either batting or bowling, has been weak. You know, in the first game. The, the weakness, the age-old weakness that has been, not age-old, but the weakness that has been kind of, you know, seen in a Sri Lankan batting where they lose a lot of wickets in the middle, wasn't there. They went into the 40th over with just three wickets down. And then we did see the result. So that part, batting first, they had worked it out. So eventually getting to 300, they were able to put the scoreboard pressure on South Africa chasing. Then looking at the way they bowled yesterday, the last 10 overs again, that's where they really struggled because when they went into the 41st over, they really, they, they again didn't have that right uh, scenario. They had set batsmen who were looking to take them on. And, 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 and as Pommy said, inexperience was a factor. We didn't have, we didn't have, other than Dushmanta Chamira, somebody who could run in and bowl at the death. And it had to be with spin. Then Akhila Dhananjay to me was, I don't know whether he's confused because he's essentially an off spinner who should bowl the leg break and googly as variety, but he was more bowling leg spin than off spin anyway. And Praveen Jayavikrama is very young. Manidu is the only guy. So, see, I think those were the little issues that really cost uh, or, or what, what the factor in Sri Lanka winning and not winning yesterday. Yeah, to go to the first game, um, I think South Africa's real strength is what let them down, the fast bowlers, isn't it? Fast bowling. They, I, was, I, was, I was a little surprised um, that Enric um, Norkia uh, and Rabada started off with or kept bowling the South African <coughs> length. Yeah. But in the second game, um, Rabada rectified that as, as you would expect from a mm. uh, bowler as with that quality. Uh, but in other areas where you would have thought that South Africa will be dominated, um, that's when... Uh, that's where they have stood up, actually. The batting, as you guys did mention, and uh, even some of the spin. Uh, Shamsi was a little short in that first game. So, yes, um, what uh, 
Sri Lanka need to keep in mind is yes, you are now in the right direction. You got a little bit of confidence. We all know, for me, that little bit of um, happiness in the dressing room after a couple of wins, whoever you beat, doesn't matter. Once you're feeling happier, you tend to do a lot more things. It's just that we can't take things for granted, isn't it? You have to keep going with the same um, uh, thought process, looking at every step that you take, the next step that you need to take and not get too, too far ahead of yourself. Because um, talent-wise, for me, I think you've seen quite a lot with this young bunch, though. It's experience which you mentioned um, that's short, but in, in other sense, Asalanka, uh, you probably haven't seen much of Banuka Raja Paksa, but um, Avishka Fernando. <coughs> I'll tell you what, um, I, I think that uh, um, Sri need to bowl well. Uh, as well as South Africa played in the previous game, Sri Lanka's spinners didn't have the best game um and it, it's okay it's, it's okay to say yeah we want to play three spinners we've got four options we've got whatever it is because your side is not the side your opposition are not good at playing against spin you still have to bowl well they're still international batsmen so if you don't bowl well to them um then you, you give them an in and if you do bowl well and they play you decently <laughs> enough it, it, it's also a, a scenario where you can't then go searching. It, you, you must remain disciplined to say, well, they're playing well. There's perhaps not as much turn as we expected and hey, perhaps it's not going out, but we can't let them off the hook. It also suggests that it's not a free reign for the seamers. Oh, run in and do whatever. No, it doesn't quite work like that and it won't work like that. Essentially, the bowling group has to be better disciplined because they have the edge. So I believe that there's more pressure on you as a bowling group if the conditions are in your favor. And in subcontinental conditions, when you look at the South Africa bowling attack, you look at the, um, the Sri Lanka bowling attack, even though South Africa will have a couple of guys who are particularly quick and whatever, in terms of um, experience of bowling in these conditions. It should be Sri Lanka who are able to do the basics quite well, no matter what. But if you look at game one and game two, Sri Lanka bowled well in game one and didn't bowl so well in game two. South Africa bowled poorly in game one and stepped up in game number two. And essentially, I believe it's because of the tone that's set by the seamers that if they go well up at the front, then the spinners seem to be able to get into their work and bowl well. Yeah, yeah. It and now, obviously, should, for me... But that's just how it goes. Yes, and that's obviously uh, also comes down to experience. The experience of Rabada that he's played, yes. he, he knew yes. what he did wrong. Um, yep, this is what I got to need to do and you come back. Whereas, uh, if the uh, Sri Lankan team was a little bit more experienced, they know in the second game, they got to be better. Because you're at a yeah. level where people are not going to take a backward step. They're going to come back hard at you. So, you can't just go through the motion. Yeah, I, I mean, Rabada is a, a champion bowler. And um, uh, you don't expect champion bowlers to go two games in a row where they don't do so well. They correct very quickly. That's why they, you know, up there with the best in the world. And yep. Rabada's game one and game two, and the learnings of what happened in the first one and in the second one, it, straight away you see it, right? It's a chalk and cheese, right? So far apart. And you might ask, oh, why would it be so different? It's one thing to say, oh, our lengths need to be fuller here. And it's another another thing to run up and bowl those fuller lanes. It doesn't feel the same necessarily. And sometimes the adjustment from a length that's back of a length to a length that's fuller feels horrible and it feels like you're not bowling the ball. And that's why it's difficult to do. And you could go through a whole 10 overs trying to get fuller, but also trying to finish your action and still remaining shorter. To then shift it, you, you know, you go off, you're not in competition anymore and you have a day and 15 minutes or whatever it is of run up okay i've got to hit much further because where i was hitting 
is way too short. Even if this feels full, I've still got to try and get up there and get up there. From ball one in game two, he had sorted it out, right? And to bring in Mulder was clever because he bowls full anyway, right? Because he's slower, because he, he generally tries to swing. So he pitches the ball up and it all worked in South Africa's favor and they bowled well in tandem and it set it up for the spinners. When they come on, things have happened. Two, three, four wickets have fallen and hey, happy days. The game is easier when you start from, from that position and you're not under pressure and you're not coming in to say, well, hold on, uh, they've got 50 on the board, nobody's out. Can you help us out here? We need to try and pull this back. You're, you're on the front foot rather than the back foot. And both sides need to try and be on the front foot. Yes. Setting the tone, whether it's the batting or the bowling. And um, both games have indicated uh, that um, setting the tone is the way to go forward. So what we need to see from teams, now we also don't like to use the word transition, rebuilding. It's been that for quite a while. Um, can you fight back? You know, those are the type of qualities that do... Uh, tend to stand out. Can you pull a game back now? I, I was pretty impressed in the first game because South Africa seemed to have that chase under under control for long periods. It's late in the game that the Sri Lankan spinners came back. So I, I thought that was a positive uh, which they need to dig deep and get more uh, in terms of coming back and fighting back. Um. I didn't get all of that, Ross, but uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about resilience. You're talking yes, about... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah you're, yeah, you're talking about the difficulty of sides having gone one down. For South Africa, I think it does them um, a, a great deal. The fact that they go one down in the subcontinent in Sri Lanka in foreign conditions with new players who haven't experienced this before and they managed to come back, put a score on the board, bowl well. I think that's it, it, it'll do a great deal for them particularly with all the off-field stuff that's going on as far as they're concerned. They need this victory in both these series just so that they can be, uh, you know, some, some happiness factor within the camp because off the field is not necessarily happy. So on the field events need to be good so that, so that they can be happy. Looking at the Sri Lankan side, I think they will be challenged. I think when we turn up for the next game, if... They don't do what they would like, which is um, to to bat first and try and defend a score. I think they'll be under a great deal of pressure simply because of the inexperience of the side. Now, it's not to say they can't do it. They can do it. If they manage to get over that and win the series, they need to win the series as well because in this period, they're trying to kind of get the ball rolling, trying to get this squad and side into winning ways and also a full uh, feel-good factor. They're two very similar sides with regard to how generally the cricket has been going in terms of trying to find a formula and a normalcy that says, yes, you can lose some games, but generally you win. And so, yeah, it'll be important, but I think it'll be challenging. If the youngsters can do it, then they too will get confidence no end. Yes, confidence is the key factor. For me, um, well, i got to let you go now because it's almost time to wrap. And uh, just for our listeners, in Sinhalese, in our, in our local language, uh, just wrap it up with Roshan. Uh, so <laughs> we, you, I, thought, I thought you were going to tell Pommy to speak in Sinhalese. <laughs> <laughs> if I was there, I would have taught, if I was in the com box, Roshan, I would have already taught him some Sinhalese. I, I yeah, really yeah. don't know what you're we, doing there. We, we, we know the type <laughs> of words you'll teach him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pommy, see this. Pom, I, I, we'll, I, hear, I didn't hear that, but I can hear you <laughs> laughing. I'm not sure what you're laughing about. Not yeah. at you, not at you, not at you. <laughs> Russell's being a little bit mischievous. Oh, yeah, me mischievous. For me, we will catch up with you again soon. Thanks for your thoughts. And um, I'll chat to you in a little bit, buddy. Thank you very much. See you soon, Pommy. See you soon, Pommy. Roshanaya, then me, Ethan Indam, then Pommy, Kiyopeka, Teka, Hitadi. After my water, I'm going to ground the ground. The ground is going to be a good one. I'm going to get a TV. 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 I'm going to get a
ලංකාවට හරි දැන් ස්පිනර්ස් ලගින් ඇටැක් කරනවා කිව්වට මම නම් මේ පිචර්ස් දෙකේම ස්පිනර්ස් ලට මොකුත් තියනවා කියලා දැක්කේ නැහැ ඒක පළවෙනි දේ ඉතින් මේ පිචර්ස් හොඳ බැටින් පිචර්ස් රයිට් දෙක මම දැක්ක දෙයක් තමයි දැන් මැච් මැච් දෙකේම 300ට වගේ ලකුණුවාවනේ ඒක තමයි ඇවරේජ් කෝස් පිචර්ස් හොඳයි හරි එතකොට දැන් දෙවනි එක තමයි රසල් මම කිව්ව වගේ අපි ඉගුලන්ගේ ස්පිනර්ස් ලට ගහපු විදියයි ඉගුලන් අපේ ස්පිනර්ස් ලට ගහපු විදියයි දැන් ඉගුලන්ගේ බැට්ස්මන්ලා දැන් ඉස්සර ඔයා දන්නවා ඔයා ගහන කාලේ සුදු මිනිසුන්ට ස්වීප් ෂොට් එක ගහන්න බෑනේ රසල් හරි ස්පින් එක පෙන්නපු ගමන් අවුට් ලග අවුට් මේ ෂෝට් ලෙග් ස්ලිප් එකේ කෝට් නැත්නම් ඉල්බිට දැන් අද සවුත් ඇෆ්‍රිකන් අය ස්වීප් ෂොට්ස් ගහන හැටි බලන්න අර යානමන් මලාන් එතකොට ෆන්ඩ් ඩූසන් ලා ඒ තව මේ ඒ ඔය සෙට් එකම ස්වීප් කරනවා හොඳට හරි එතකොට රිවර්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ඔල්සෝ ද කන්වෙන්ෂල් ස්විච් නමුත් අපේ බැට්ස්මන් ලා සවුත් ඇෆ්‍රිකන් ස්පිනර්ස් ලට ඒ විදිහට ඇටැක් කරන්න නැති බව තමයි මට පේන්නේ ඉතින් එතකොට අපේ ස්පිනර්ස් ලට තියෙන චැලෙන්ජ් එක වැඩි රසල් එතකොට හොඳ විකට්ස් වල මේ විදිහට සවුත් ඇෆ්‍රිකා බැට් කරනකොට අපේ ස්පිනර්ස් ලා ඇන්ගල්ස් වෙනස් කරන්න ඕනේ එතකොට අපේ ස්පිනර්ස් ලගේ එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එක පැනික් කරනවා right you think eka eka mama dekka loku aduwak ape batsman la hada ganna one api sweep karanna puluwan batsman la mama dakinne charith asalanka vitarai wena kawuruth sweep shot ekak gehuwe ne da api ie pennuwa graphic ekak mata mata kana south african batsman kawuda kiyala sweep shot ekak gehuwe mama hitanne classen palle hata gahana hati uda indala bat ekak roll kala gahana hati dananja slog sweep ekak gahanna kiyala bole miss karana hati හරි ඉතින් සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකා මේක මාස්ටර් කරලා තියෙනවා මේ ස්විච් එකට ඉතින් ඔයා දන්නවා රසල් ස්පින් එකට ගහන්න ඕනම පාරක් මේ ස්විප් එක ඊට පස්සේ අපි ලෙන්ත් එක වෙනස් කරපු ගමන් ඒගොල්ලන්ට පුළුවන් වෙන වෙන තැන් ඕපන් අප් කරා ඒක විතරක් නෙමෙයි ෆීල්ඩ් එක සෙට් කරන්නත් අමාරුයි අමාරුයි මොකද රිවර්ස් එකයි මේක ගන්න අනික් එක තමයි රසල් අපි දන්න දෙයක් අපේ තිබුණ ලොකුම ප්‍රශ්නේ තමයි 11 වෙනි ඕවරේ ඉඳලා 40 වෙනි ඕවරේ අපි බැට් කරනකොට රයිට් සහ අපි බෝල් කරනකොට දැන් ෆස්ට් මැච් එක දිනන්න එක ලොකුම හේතුව වුනේ ඒ පීරියඩ් එකේ අපිට විකට් ගිහලා තිබුණේ නැහැ අපි 40 වෙනි ඕරේ ඉවර වෙනකොට 3 විකට්ස් ඩවුන් ඉතින් අපි 300ක් ගැවයි අපිට ලොන්ච් කරන්න පුළුවන් වුණා විකට් අතක් අතේ තිබුණා සෙට් බැට්ස්මන් ලා දෙන්නේ කිටිය පාරවල් ගැහුවා නමුත් දෙවනි ගේම් එකේ ඔයා දැක්කා නම් සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකා ලාස්ට් 7 8 ඕවර්ස් වලට එනකොට සෙට් බැට්ස්මන් ලා දෙන්නේ කිටිය එතකොට අපේ ස්පින් එක ෆුල්ලි අන්ඩර් ප්‍රෙෂර් ඒ ඒ ප්‍රෙෂර් එකකින් දරසල් ෆීල්ඩිං පවා දැන් ඔය චාමික කරුණාරත්නල වගේ හොඳ ෆීල්ඩර්ස් ලා මිස්ටේක්ස් කරන්න පටන් ගන්න ඔව් දැන් මේක ෆයිනල් එකක් වගේනේ දැන් කොහොමද මේගලන් මේ ප්‍රෙෂර් එක ඇබ්සෝබ් කරන්නේ මම කිව්ව වගේ යම් මේකින් ටොස් එක පැරදුනොත් රයිට් සෙකන්ඩ් බැට් කරන්න පටන් ගත්තොත් බැට් කරන්න වුනොත් හරිද එතකොට මේගලන් ඕක ඕකත් එක්ක ඕක ගලප ගන්න විදිය තමයි මම ගොඩක් කැමති බලන්න ඒ වගේ දේවල් ඒගලන්ට ප්‍රෙෂර් එක ඇබ්සෝබ් කරගන්න පුළුවන් නම් අන්න එතකොට මම හිතනවා ශ්‍රී ලංකා සයිඩ් එකේ ඉන්න ප්ලේයර්ස් ලා මචුව ඒගොල්ලන් හොඳ ආටිකල්ස් you can work with කියන එක තමයි මගේ ඉඩියා එක. ඔව් දැන් ඔයා කියන එක වෙන විදිහකින් කිව්වොත් දැන් අපිට ඕන ඕන විදිහට ගහන්න හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ ඔපොසිෂන් එකක් එක්ක. හ්ම්. ඒගොල්ලෝගේ ප්ලේ එකට හරි ප්‍රෙෂර් එකට ගේම් එක හැන්ඩල් කරලා කොහොමද ෆයිට් බෑක් කරන එක කියන එක තමයි අපි බලන්න ඕන. හ්ම්. ඒක තමයි ටීම් එකක් ඩිෆයින් කරන්නේ. දැන් පළවෙනි ODI එකේ අපි පොමි ඉදිත් කතා කරා මේ श्रीलंका uh, 
hari bebu mah bebu bau mah de bebu mah bau mari muka hati apa nah itu hari nama kian urusan bebu oh ya bebu mah kian mah bau mah kian right itu lah mama kian ne itu ne ini opening kawan ini itu pasai matram kerapu gong wedi tamai ini bela gong wedi ne mau try kera arah wani tu ke game changing match catch ඒ විකට් එක ළඟ ළඟ ගියාම අලුත් දෙන්නට ගොඩක් ඩොට් බෝල දැම්මනේ රසල් අපිට ඕන උනේ අලුත් බැට්ස්මන්ලා දෙන්නේ ඒකෙන් ප්‍රෙෂර් එක අපි බිල්ඩ් කරා ඒ සිට්යුවේෂන් එක ඔයා කිව්වා වගේ ඒක හොඳට පාවිච්චි කරලා we got back to the game ඔව් අර පොඩි chance එක හම්බ වුණා දැන් අපිට කලින් winning feeling එක නෑ ඒ ඒ වගේ දේවල් ඉඳ අපිට ඒක ඉන්න බැරි දැන් ඒ වගේ fight back තමයි එනවා දැන් දෙවනි ODI එකට ගියාම මම batting එකට ඔව් අපි ප්‍රෙෂර් එක වැටුණා තමයි රබාඩා Uh, ग अडुआ අපිට එක්ස්ට්‍රා ෆාස්ට් බෝල් කෙනෙක් නොහිටපු එක. කියන්නේ හරි. හැබැයි එතකොට අපි ටීම් බැලන්ස් එක බෝලින් මිඩ්ල් නෑ අන්න එතන ප්‍රශ්නයක්. ඉතින් බැලන්ස් එක තමයි ප්‍රශ්නේ. නෑ මිඩ්ල් එකේදී දුෂ්මන්ත චමීරට පුළුවන් ඇල රිදම් එක කඩන්න විදි එක්ස්ට්‍රා පේස්. රයිට්? දැන් චාමික කරුණරත්න ඉස ඩිෆරන්ට් ටයිප් ඔෆ් බෝල් නේ. චාමික කරුණරත්න නිව් බෝලෙන් බෝල් කරන්න බෑ. ඇයට ඩිෆෙන්සිව් ලයින්ස් තමයි බෝල් කරන්න ඕනේ. නමුත් ඔය විකට් එකේ රසල් සච් ඇ ගුඩ් විකට් මේ ඔන් දි අප්පුත් එක්ස්ට්‍රා කා උඩින් බෝලේ උඩින් ගහන්න පුළුවන් මේ මේ විකට් එකක් ඕක. ඉතින් පොඩක් එක්ස්ට්‍රා පේස් එක චමීරගේ චේන්ජර්ස් චේන්ජ් අප්ස් එක චමීර ඉෆෙක්ටිව් වගේ පෙනුණා. ඉතින් එතන මම දැක්ක දෙයක් අනික එක රසල් අපේ ස්පිනර්ස්ලාට මේගොල්ලන් ආයෙත් මං කියන්නේ අපේ ස්පිනර්ස්ලාව කෝප් කරපු විදිය ඒගොල්ලන්. ඔව්. දැන් අපි තව සීම කෙනෙක් ගහනවා නම් ස්පින් දෙකෙන් යන්න වෙන්නේ. පළවෙනි ඕඩිය එකේ ෆාස්ට් බෝල් වලට धनाधान <laughs> प्रश्न गुडाने टेकिंग එමන ඇයි තින් යු කැන් ප්ලේ රමේෂ් මෙන්ඩිස් ඇස් ඔල් ඔල් රවුන්ඩ් රමේෂ් මෙන්ඩිස් ගේ බැටින් එකට කුක් තියෙනවා දැන් මම යන්න කැමති වා ගෙනාපු අනිත් පොයින්ට් එක අපි මේ කලින් සීරීස් වල කතා වුනේත් අන්තිම අවුරුදු වල අපිට හයව ගහන්න බැට්ස්මන්ලා නැහැ කියන එක අපි අන්තිම ඕවර් වල අපිට ගහන්න කවුරුත් නැහැ කියන එක හැබැයි ඔයා කියපු පොයින්ට් එක අපේ විකට් තියෙනවා නම් ඉතින් ඕක තමයි දැන් දිගටම හයිලයිට් කර කර හිටියා අර මැද ඕවර්ස් වල අපි perform කරන විදිය තමයි ගොඩාක්ම වටින්න ඇබ්සොලියුට්ලි එතන පාට්නර්ෂිප් එක ගියාම අපිට බැට්ස්මන් ලා ඉන්නවා අන්තිම 10 ගහන්න. ඒකට අපි 6 ගානේ 6 අමාර ගානේ ගහනවා නම් බැට්ස්මන් ලා ඉන්නවා නම් 8 ගානේ යනවා. ඔන්න අපිට තව ලකුණු 15ක් 20ක් එනවා අපේ ටීම් එක පැත්තට. ඒ වගේම තමයි අපි බෝල් කරද්දි මැද ඕවර්ස් මිඩ්ල් ඕවර්ස් වල අපිට විකට් ගන්න අවස්ථාව ලැබුණා නම් අපි ටැකින් බෝලර්ස් ලා ඉඳලා 
ඒගලන්ගේ ටේල් එක ඔපොසිෂන් ටේල් එක තමයි අන්තිම දායට එන්නේ. එතකොට ඒගලන්ගේ රන් රේට් එක ආය අපේ පැත්තට අදින්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් වෙන වෙන මේ පොඩි පොඩි දේවල් වලින් අපිට මේ වෙනස්කම් කරන්න පුළුවන්. අපිට හයව ගහන්නම ඕන බැට්ස්මන් ඉන්නේ කොහොමදයි? හැබැයි ඒකම වෙන්න ඕනේ නෑ. දැන් ඔය දැන් දසුන් ශානකයි හසරංගයි චාමිකයි අතන 6 7 8 ට ඉන්න එකෙන් අපිට ඒ ඇබිලිටි එක එනවා. හැබැයි ඒගලන්ට අපි සිටුවේෂන් එක හදලා දෙන්න ඕන ටොප් ටොප් ඕඩර් එක. හදලා දෙන අනික එක රසල් අපි බෝල් කරද්දී මැද්දේ අපිට විකට් ගන්න හිටියා අකිල ධනංජයන් වනිදු හසරංග. ඒ දෙන්නා ඒ ඒ රෝල් එක මැද්දේ කරන්න මොන. එතකොට තමයි අන්තිම ඕස් 10 ප්‍රෙෂර් එක දාන්න පුළුවන්. නැත්තම් සෙට් වුණාට පස්සේ ඔයා අපි කියන්න ඕනේ නැහැ නේද මේ මේවා ඉතින් හරි ඉට් බිකම්ස් වෙරි ඊසි. ඔව් අන්ඩ් දැන් අපි දන අනිත් එක දැනගන්න ඕන මැච් යන්නේ යන්න. අපේ ටීම් එක දකින්න දකින්න දැන් අන්ඩ් වීඩියෝ ඇනලිසිස් ඒ වගේ දේවල් ගොඩක් ටීම්ස් යූස් කරනවා. ඉතින් අපේ ප්ලේයර්ස් ලත් ඒක යූස් කරලා හැමදාම ඉම්ප්‍රූව් වෙන්න බලන්න ඕන. අනිත් ටීම් එක මොනවාද කරන්නේ? අපි අද ගහපු විදිහට හෙට ගහන්න බෑ. හෙට අපිට ඊට වඩා දෙයක් කරන්න ඕන. බස් අනිත් ටීම්ස් ආ එනවා. ඒගොල්ලොත් ප්ලෑනින් හදලා දැන් අපි දැන් චරිත් අසලංක බැට් කරන විදිය ඒගොල්ලෝ දැන් ගොඩක් බලයි. චරිත් අසලංක ගැන කවුරුත් දැකලා තිබුණේ නැහැ. ඉතින් වීක් පොයින්ට් එකක් හරි එයාට කොහොමද ටැග් කරන්නේ? එයාට මොනවාද කරන්නේ කියන එක මේ ඒ අපිට ඒව දකින්න හම්බෙයි. බෙස්ට් කේ එක්සැම්පල් එක රබාඩා ෆස්ට් ඕඩිය එකයි සෙකන්ඩ් ඕඩිය එකයි. බලද්දි ශම්සිත්තේ අපි ඉතින් ඒක එහෙමම අපේ ප්ලේයර් ලත් ආ දැන් අපි හොඳට කරා දැන් අපිට ඔක්කොම එක පැත්තකට යයි කියන තැනට යන්න නරකයි අපි හැම වෙලේම ඉම්ප්‍රූව් වෙන්න ඕන අපි හැම වෙලේම බලන්න ඕන මොකද්ද අපි කරන්නේ කියන එක මේ බැලුවේ නැත්තම් මේ ඉස්සරහට යන්න හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ ලවේ කක් රස ඊයේ අපේ ඕපනර්ස් ල දෙන්න බැට් කරන්න එනකොට හරි බොඩි ලැංග්වේජ් එක දිහා බැලුවොත් ෆස්ට් ගේම් එකේ බොඩි ලැංග්වේජ් එකට වඩා වෙනස් කියලා මට හිතුණා හරි පොඩ්ඩක් ටෙන්ටටිව් ඒක තවත් වැඩි වුණා රබාඩගේ ෆස්ට් ඕවර් එකෙන් පස්සේ මොකද රබාඩ බෝල් කරපු ලෙන්ස් මේ ඊ මේ 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 බැට් එක බීට් වෙච්ච විදිය ඉතින් ඒවත් රසල් මං හිතන්නේ මෙන්ටලි ඔස යු හැව් ටු බි අටියුන් නේද ඒ කියන්නේ ඒක ඔයා ඒක එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් වලටද රුඩි පුට් ඉට් ඩවුන් ටු එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් නෑ ඉතින් සිටුවේෂන් එක නේ ස්කෝර් බෝඩ් ප්‍රෙෂර් කියන්නේ ඒක තමයි 286 ගුඩ් බෝලින් රබාඩගේ ස්ටාර්ට් එක රොෂන රබා යාගේ නම හරියට කියන්න කොහොමද ඒක ප්‍රනවුස් කරන්නේ රබාඩ නේ රබා මම නම් දන්නේ මම නම් දන්නේ රබාඩ කියලා රබාඩ නේ රබාඩ මේ රබාඩ රබාඩ අර බෞම වගේ ඔය අර බෞම කිව්වත් මම කිව්වේ නෑ මම කිව්වේ නෑ බෞමට බෞම කියන්නේ නෑ 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 ඉතින් කට්ටිය කියනවා නේ ඉතින් අපි ඉතින් අපි ඉතින් ඒව පොඩ්ඩක් ඉතින් ෂුවර් එකටම රබාඩ නේ මේ රබාඩ बैलेंसवा <laughs> 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 लक ඉතින් බානුක කියන ප්ලේයර් මම හිතනවා ඊස ඊස හිස මැච් වෙන එයාට අපිට යු නෝ මැච් දිනන්න පුළුවන් ප්ලේයර් කෙනෙක් ඉනි ඉනිමක් කියන්නේ ගේම් එකක් චේන්ජ් කරන්න පුළුවන් ප්ලේයර් කෙනෙක් එයාගේ බැටින් එක ඉතින් සිලෙක්ටර්ස් ලා ඩිසිෂන් එකක් ගන්න ඕනේ බානුකට තව චාන්ස් එකක් දෙනවද්ද නැත්තම් තව කාහරි උතන්ට ගේනවද කියලා ඒක එක ක්වෙස්චන් එකක් මම දකින්නේ ඊළඟ එක මම දකින්නේ අකිල ධනංජය දැන් ලෙග් ස්පින් බෝල් කරන හින්ද එයාගේ ඕෆ් ස්පින් එක रमेश 
ඒ කියන්නේ බිනුර බිනුරට ගහන්න හම්බෙන එකක් නැහැ කියලා මම හිතන්නේ රසික රසල් මේ බිනුර ගහයි T20s වල මම හිතලා බොහෝ විට මොකද ස්පින් එකෙන් යන්න බෑ T20s මේක දිනන්න නම් මම හිතනවා මේ 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 විදියටම යන්න වෙයි පොඩි පොඩි ටින්කරින් එක්ක හරි ඒතර මම දන්නේ නැහැ මිනෝත් බානුකගේ සිට්යුවේෂන් එක කොහොමද කියලා මොකද මිනෝත් බානුක වෙනුවට ඡන්දිමාල්ව සයිඩ් එකට ගනීද කියලා ඇස් ඔන් ඕපන් මොකද මිනෝත් බානුක ෆස්ට් ගේම් එකේ නොට් බෑඩ් හොඳට ගැහුවා නමුත් ඊයේ අර විකට් තුනත් එක්ක මම දන්නේ නැහැ ඒක ඉතින් ඕව තමයි මම දකින්න මේ මේ ඔය සිලෙක්ෂන් පොලිසිස් එක මම දකින්න ඒරියාස් තියෙන්නේ रबर <laughs> ඉතින් මේ 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 එකේ අපි අපේ පැත්තට රිසල්ට් එක ආවොත් අපිට සෑහෙන ලොකු බූස්ට් එකක් වෙයි අන්න ප්‍රෙෂර් ගහන එක තමයි ගොඩක් වටින්නේ ඇබ්සොලියුට්ලි රයිට් ඇබ්සොලියුට්ලි රයිට් ඒක මම 100% ඇග්වී අර කොන්ෆිඩන්ස් ලෙවල් එක යනවා මම ගන්න අහස උසට ඒක T20 සීරීස් එකටත් හොඳටම වැඩ කරයි අනික එක එතකොට අර ටීම් එකක් රෙස්පොන්ඩ් වෙනවා ජෙල් වෙනවා කියන එක පේනවනේ රස එතකොට මේ ඒ වගේ දෙයක් තියෙන මේ රසල් තව එකක් මට බැරි වෙලා දක්ිලා නැත් ගැහුවේ නැත්තම් සමහර විට මේ 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 අර තීක්ෂණව ගස් වෙද්දන්නේ අජන්ත මෙන්ස් වගේ පොල් කෙනෙක් ඔව් පොඩි මිස්ට්‍රි බෝල කෙනෙක් එයා මිස්ට්‍රි බෝල හින්දා ඔව් එයාගේ පොඩි ස්ලයිඩර් එක තියෙනවා ඔව් ස්ලයිඩර් එකක් තියෙනවා අපි අපි මං අන්තිමට යාව දැක්කේ LPL එකේ රොෂන මැච් එකක් දෙකක් නෑ නෑ T20 අර අර කෙනෙක් උතුර බෝල් කරා समहार oh, අර මේ 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 යාව පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් මේ 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 තුරුම්පුවක් හැටියට එයා එයා මේ පවර් ප්ලේ එකෙත් හරි එෆෙක්ටිව් ඔව් ඉතු අනිකේ දැකලා නැහැ නේ යාව මේක නෝ දැකලා නැහැ ඉතින් ඒක අනික තමයි ඒක තමයි මම දැන් කලින් ගියේ මේක දැකලා නැහැ ඉට්ස් අ ප්‍රයිස් එලිමන්ට් එක හැබැයි දෙවෙනි තුන්වෙනි මැච් එක වෙනකොට එයාත් අපිට වෙන්න ඕන ඒ තරී නැතුව ඒක හරි මම කොහොමද මේ කවුන්ට් කරන්නේ කියන්නේ හරියට හරි ඔව් ඉතින් කැම වෙලේම පළවෙනි අවුරුද්ද තමයි ලේසි ඊට පස්සේ නේ රසල් ඉතින් හොයා දැන් ඉස්සර දැන් දැන් මේ ටෙක්නොලොජි එක පළවෙනි මැච් දෙක තුනෙන් පස්සේ මිනිස්සු හොයා ගන්න මොනවද කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා හැබැයි කෝ කෝ කොහොම වුණත් මට මට නැහැ හිතුනේ අපි හොඳ දේවල් තමයි දැක්කේ අපි අපි පොඩ්ඩක් තව ටිකක් ඉස්සරහට ගිහිල්ලා කියන අදහස තමයි ඉන්නේ ඉතින් අනිවාර්ය මේක ගොඩාක්ම වටිනවා අපිට හැම පැත්තෙම T20 T20 තුනක් තියෙන ඊට පස්සේ World T20 එකේ ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ අපිට ටිකක් හොඳ කාලයක් ඉදිරියට එනවා hopefully අපි players ලා මේ challenge එක ගනී කියන එක තමයි මේ वेला <laughs> අපි ගොඩක් ඔය අතරතුර දැන් බැට්ස්මන් ලවුට් වෙන්න පුළුවන් රන්ස් ගහන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වගේ දේවල් වෙන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි මේ වගේ ෆැක්ටර්ස් දිගටම කන්සිස්ටන්ට්ලි කොහොමටත් වෙන්න පුළුවන් රනිං බිට්වීන් ද විකට්ස් අනිත් එක ෆීල්ඩිං ෆීල්ඩිං කියන එක කොම්ප්‍රොමයිස් වෙන්න නැතුව ඒ એનર્ජි එක එනවා නම් ඒ අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන් ඒ මානසිකත්වය හරි පැත්තට තියෙනවා කියන එක ඩෙෆිනිට්ලි ෆුලි ඇග්‍රීඩ් ඔයත් එක්ක මම ඇග්‍රී මම ඒක දකිනෝ මේ සයිඩ් එකේ එල 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 රොෂන එහෙනම් මම ෂෑම්ට කතා කරන්නද තෑන්කියු වෙරි මච් ඔයාගේ තෝ ඔයා එල්පීඑල් එකට එනවද එල්පීඑල් එකට අපිට ඔයා මිස් වෙනවා ඔය නැති එක හරි පාඩු ෆන් එක නැහැ ඔයා පොඩ්ඩක් ඔය මේ මේ ඕගොල්ලෝ ඕගොල්ලෝ මාව ඔක්කොම අල්ල මා බයිට් එකට ගන්න නේ ඔය දකලා නෑ 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 ඔය මම බයිට් එකට ගන්න ඔය මා බයිට් එකට ගන්න ට්‍රයි කරාට ඔයාත් බයිට් වෙනවා නේද ඉතින් no no good things hopefully ආ මේක නම් මේ not not by my choice but then hopefully things fall in place and 
we will be there. Sham, you want to say anything? Thank you, Roshan, for your time. We'll chat again soon. Pleasure, Hopefully, yeah, yeah. on Tuesday. Huh. Uh, we we yeah. will be celebrating mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. pomia pomia kepu vidiyata me what givena kela go apin nan gewan nallu pomia thema kiwe then me ek ek a hetu dende pa western union money transfer again sali adi adi kewan nai wat nai wan nai wan wat e wan nan money union money transfer again sali e wan da khal me sham tawa prashnaya thiyena den roshan ayala inne ara berai galanga cinnamon lake ge me aathal lege inna me tike लंकाूशन <laughs> मैं <laughs> 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 सेकंड <laughs> 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 जीवित प्रमाण जीवित නෑ ඒ විතරක් නෙමෙයි නේ ශාම් දැන් බලන්න මේ මැච් බලන්නත් ඉන්න බැරි එක ඉන්නනේ ඔව් නැත්තම් ආත අද කොටල් මුළු සෙනකක් එනවද ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකට ඉතින් ඒ කිසි කෙනෙකුට ඉන්න බැරි වෙලා තියෙන්නේ මේ අවාසනාවන්ත තත්ත්වෙන්ද ඉතින් ඔයා කියන එක හරි ඔව් ඒගොල්ලෝ ඉක්මන්ට ලැස්සෙන්න හා සෝදා කතින් සනත් අයට තියෙ කිව්වේ ඒ සර කතා කරද්දි ක්‍රවුඩ් එක එනකොට අපිට කේක් එකක් එහෙම එනවා නේ රොෂන් නෑ ඔව් ඔව් ඒ දවස්වල නැත්තම් කොච්චර දාමික ක්‍රවුඩ් එක ඇට්මොස්ෆියර් එක කොච්චර මරුද අපා කොච්චර නියමයි නේ ඒ කියන්නේ ප්ලේයර්ස් ලට හොඳයි හැම කෙනාටම ඉතින් හරිම අවාසනාවන්ත තත්යක් මේ මේ ෆෑන්ස්ල නැති එක රසිකයෝ ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකේ නැති එක ක්‍රිකට් ලෝලින් ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකේ නැති එක හරිම ලොකු පාඩුවක් ඇත්තටම හැබැයි තව තව දෙයක් තව දෙයක් තියෙනවා මේ ඔව් අමාරු කාලයක් තමයි හැබැයි පොසිටිව්ස් බලලා පුළුවන් තැනක හිනා වෙලා තමන්ගේ ස්පිරිට්ස් ලිෆ්ට් කරන එක ගොඩක් ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් ඒ අතින් තමයි අපිට ස්පෝට් ක්‍රිකට් හරි දැන් මම වෙන ස්පෝට්ස් වලටත් ඉන්ට්‍රස්ට් එකක් තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඒ වගේ දේවල් වලින් මයින්ඩ් සෙට් එක පොඩ්ඩක් තමාට අවශ්‍ය දේ කරගන්න එකත් වැදගත්. නැත්තම් හිත වැටුණොත් ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක්. මේ තව දෙයක් තමයි රසල් මම 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 අත්දැකපු දෙයක් මම මේ මේ නරඹන ඔක්කොටම කියන්නේ මම හිතනවා මේ ගොඩාක් අය මේ මානසික වැටෙනවා එක එක නිවුස් කියවලා ඒවා විශ්වාස කරලා. අනික එක නොයෙක් අය එක එක දේවල් කියනවා. හරි ඉතින් එක එක දේවල් කියලා මිනිස්සුන්ව බය කරනවා අවාසනාවකට අද රටේ 90% 99% නිවුස් ඇවිල්ලා නෙගටිව් ඒ කියන්නේ අසුභවාදී ඉතින් මිනිස්සු මගේ මයින්ඩ් සෙට් එක මම තීරණයක් කරන් තියෙනවා 
මම නම් නිවුස් බලන්නෙත් නැහැ මම නිවුස් කියවන්නෙත් නැහැ කවුරුත් කියන දෙයක් අහන්නෙත් මම මාව ආරක්ෂා කරගෙන පොසිටිව්ලි හිතාගෙන නැත්තම් ආ මෙතන 410යි මෙතන 200යි මෙතන 300යි මෙන්න මෙහෙම යනවා අර එහෙම යනවා ඉතින් ඒ ඒ දැනට මේ මෙන්ටලි වැටිලා ඉන්න මිනිස්සු තවත් වැටෙනවා හරි එතකොට ඒගොල්ලන් සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම ෆ්‍රස්ට්‍රේට් වෙනවා සෝ ඒ ඒක මම මම මේ 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 ෆොලෝ කරන මේ මේ ප්‍රින්සිපල් එකක් ඇත්තටම ඒක ඉඳ තමයි මෙයා අපිත් එක්ක බයිලා කතා කරන්න ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන ඉස්සර අපිත් එක්ක කතා කරන්න බෑ කියන නෑ නෑ මම කවුද දැන් දැන් එනවා අර මානසිකත්වයේ උස්සන්න उदरणी <laughs> उदाहरणी अंगोड़ा जिम मैं रोशन है ना अन्य जिम जिम करना वो मैं तो आई थी मैं तो कोई लाइन मुना करने नहीं मैं एक अन्य लोगे शेड्यूल लेक करा नर्द आने लोगे शेड्यूल लेक करा आने लोगे शेड्यूल लेक करा देंग देंग फॉलो करने का मन है देंग वहाँ उन्हें दीन ना एक काले शेड्यूल लेक बे एक अन्य मैं रास्वादाना � दागा <laughs> 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 And the next trip is slow, right? Thank, Anna, thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Roshan. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. We'll be we'll chatting the next day. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Tuesday will be a good day. Indeed, indeed, indeed. All the best. Thank you again.
Cheers. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Chilling with Russell. Receive money from anywhere in the world. Western Union now available at Ceylon Bank.